Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you this card. The idea of this card came from Pinterest. Um, I used the stamp sets Forever Fern to cut out all the bits and the dies to go with it. And I also used this retired one, all wired up for the background on the card, plain cardstock. And I also used Peaceful Moments for the Happy Birthday. I only used this because it was out from a previous card, but that's what I wanted. I'm also using the dies. Got loads of dies here. Was it this one? Yeah. This little die here from Stitch So Sweetly dies. Um, these dies, and I used this one, which I've already cut out. Oh, come on. Oh, I'll sort that out later. And obviously the... Um, called forever fern dies and they're the ones I need so let's get some stamping done I've got oh card base oh, that would help card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eight scored at four and one eight a piece of granite grey I haven't used this for a long, long time. But yeah, we've got a piece of granite grey. And like I said, I've also already cut out this um, die. I can't remember what it's called. That will go there. I have a piece of crumb cake which measures one inch by four inches and that will just sit in the middle there and I've got scraps of navy and basic white to do our stamping so oh I need that granite grey to stamp our background so we'll do that first let's move that And with granite grey ink, I don't know the last time I used this granite grey, so that's why I was checking to see if it was still inked up. Right, piece of paper and Rub all over it. That's nice. So my ink does work. Right, I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to just do the crumb cake. stamp all these out and then cut them out so crumb cake for these leaves One. 
two. Three. Is it three? Oh yeah. Three and crumb, crumb cake. And this one in Night and Navy. And then I also need a scrap. So we've got a bit big enough to accommodate this die for the happy birthday. Right, I know where I've got to do it. So it's got to go in the middle. That's it. Right. Now we've got to cut all these out, so I should bring my big plates in. Because we can get quite a few of these pieces on one go. I have to wonder if I got the right die. Because one leads to the left and one leads to the right. But I had the right one. Right. Right, our sentiment. I'm 
blue leaves, smaller leaves, and rid of all that rubbish and then the only thing left to cut out is these leaves which we cut in night and navy but before we do that I want to cut out two of these small flowers with this punch of ours There they are. If I'd cut them out afterwards, I would have nothing to hold on to. And our leaves. Right, I can go in the bin. That's just got all our small bits out that we needed we've done our stamping so now all we've got to do is stick everything together so this first The reason I chose Granny Grey over Smoky Sleigh again is because I've not used this card I don't know how many times and I think it goes better with the crumb cake than the Smoky Sleigh does. Now this does need dimensionals, but what I'm going to do It's not what not. It's my motto. Use the edges. And this will place on the left hand side. Oh. Thought I'd put it on the wrong side then. Thing that needs um, dimensionals is the sentiment and only at one end. 
So I am going to put three quite close together at this end. Right there. So This goes in like that. So we'll glue this down. Got our leaves. That one goes in there, and this one goes like that, and this one goes in there like that. So let's glue them in. And the blue one pops in there. Now the flowers, I'm just going to shape them a little bit. I've just got a pencil. It's one of them sticky picky uppy pencils. And then we're going to put one of these flowers down here, and this flower will go there. And all we've got to do is add some gems. Now I had some enamel dots here. Now I have got two big white ones. Can't get them. That's it. For the center of flowers. And then I've got some brownie grey ones here for the card base. to do the inside as well. So, get that. Night and Navy and my usual stamp. Wishing you a beautiful day. I 
did do that with this one, didn't I? I did. And there is our card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, usually Monday and a Friday. All I can say is thanks for coming, and I hope to see you again soon.